This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com slash psychytruth. Hi, it's Banks. Welcome to the Banks Method Total Body Bar Series. Today we have a focus on inner thighs. The Banks Method is my unique combo of ballet, bar, and Pilates exercises designed to maximize lengthening and strengthening of the muscles with fun, dance-inspired movements. You can find all of my workouts on Amazon Prime Video and the Yoga Plus app. And all you'll need is a bar and a glider. It's fine if you don't have either one. Instead of a glider, you can use a hand towel or some socks. And instead of a bar, you can use a chair or something that's hip level that's nice and stable. So let's go ahead and get started. So grab your glider, grab your hand towel, and we'll place it underneath the ball of the right foot coming into our Pilates V. The heels are together, the toes are apart. You're about a forearm's distance away from your bar. And then bring your right arm up and overhead. We slide that right leg out into our wide second, tucking the tailbone under nice proud chest, and then squeeze those inner thighs to lift it up. Nice and slow to start so you feel the intention of glutes, inner thighs zipping up and then pressing out, creating our own resistance here. Pressing the ball of foot down into the ground to really activate through the inner and outer thighs. It's out for two. Squeeze and lift. One more slow. Let's take it a little bit quicker to get that heart rate up. Let's go, we take it down, squeeze and lift. Lower and lift. Eight more here and then we're gonna hold that wide second. Last six. We've got five, zip it all the way up, four, Last three, two, hold that wide second, pulse it down and up, down and up. Just eight more here. Last four, three, two, and one. Squeeze those inner thighs together. We're gonna face our bar. Or walk over to the left side of your bar. And we're gonna do some standing inner thighs. So soften into both knees. We bring the right leg out, and then we fire up through the right inner thigh to squeeze and lift in. Taking it out for two counts, squeezing and lift it in. So here you wanna make sure you're not locking out the knees and sinking into the joints. You have a soft bend into both knees the whole time, finding that resistance on the way out and pulling those low abdominals, pulling up and out of the hips on the way back in. Inhale on the way out. Big exhale as you squeeze and lift. Now we're gonna do the same thing, just adding a little bit more of a challenge. We take it out. And then we cross that right leg back, squeezing those inner thighs. It's out. Cross the right leg back just a few inches, crossing it behind the left. Cross and squeeze and lift. It's out. Cross and squeeze and lift the chest. Two more here. Good. Last one. Hold that leg crossed over. We're going to bend through the left knee, hinging that upper body forward. We bring the right leg out to a diagonal line and then we take it out to the corner, just creating a V here. So you got a nice juicy bend into that left knee, your hinge forward. As you cross it over, you feel the inner thigh. As you bring it out to that side, you feel the outer part of the glute. Just four more and then we're gonna hold it crossed over. Last two. Hold it crossed over, find a little pulse down up. Down up, find that working zone. Both legs are talking to us here, really crossing that right leg over. Hips are square, inner thighs are super engaged for 10, nine, eight, seven, last six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it all the way up. We're gonna rise up onto both tippy toes. So the feet are right underneath those sit bones. We're gonna bend the knees, bring the glutes down towards, <clears throat> down towards knee level and then Find a not need position. So we're internally rotated. The inner thighs are super engaged. We take it down for two, lift it up for two counts. Light grip on that bar, tailbones tucked under so we find that perfectly straight, neutral spine, glutes engaged. Inner thighs are working to keep those knees completely together. Imagine you got a piece of paper in between those knees and you're squeezing it, squeezing it in with everything you got. Good, four more here, three, Two, now hold it low, get a little bit lower, find that shaky point. We open the knees, squeeze to close. Open and close. Four more. Three, two, pausing when the knees are right over the ankles. Good, now we pulse it, open, pulse it, close. It's open and close. Last four, find that shape. Three, last two, 
Hold those knees together on one, both arms go overhead, balance challenge. We pulse down and up, just 10. Squeeze the inner thighs, pull up through the core. Last four, three, two, one. Nice work, you guys. Okay, let's switch it on over to the other side of the bar. Bring your glider with you. Glider goes on to the left foot this time. Extend that left arm up and overhead. Let's find that wide second. Slow, squeeze and lift for two counts. Open that arm as we sink the hips down low. Zip up through those inner thighs. Get the heels to touch. So find your own rotation here, making sure the knees are tracking right over the toes. Everybody's got different rotation in their hips. It's okay if your knees aren't coming out as wide as mine. It's all about working within your own rotation. Just two more slow. Now let's take it a little bit quicker. Here we go. We take it down, squeeze and lift. Lower and lift. Squeezing at the top. Good, pulling that core in, four more, three. Good, full range, let's hold it low, pulse it down then up. Get a little bit lower for eight, seven, press the knees open, six, five, lift the chest, four, three, two, and one. Let's turn and face our bar. Walk over to the right side of your bar, soft bend into the knees, find that neutral spine, squeeze the glutes, open that left leg out, only as far as you can control it on the way up. So if you notice, if you take it too far out and you're trying to get back up here, take it a little bit smaller range of motion so you feel, can feel those inner thighs bringing you back to center. Two more here and then we're gonna cross the left leg behind the right. Last one. So we bring the left leg out and then cross it back behind the right. Pull up and out of the hips. In my glider. Cross it over. Squeezing the inner part of the glutes as you cross and lift. Good, just two more here. Last one. Hold that leg crossed over. This time we're gonna hinge that upper body forward. Make sure the right heel is in and the toe is out. And then we cross the left leg over, zipping up through the tops of the inner thighs, then bring it out. Tracing a V with that left foot, making it nice and sharp. Now get a little bit lower in that right leg. Out and cross. In this hinge forward position, make sure those low abdominals are pulling in. Those shoulders are relaxing down the back. Two more here. Last set, let's hold it, crossed over, pulse it, down squeeze. Down squeeze, driving through that heel in the front for eight, seven, we've got six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's stand it all the way up, rise up onto those tippy toes. Find that knock knee position, and we go down for two counts. Lift it up, squeeze those knees together as you lift, down for two, lift. Two more slow, lift it up. Next one, let's hold it low, bring those heels back up, pulse it down and down. We're getting to the end of this workout, you guys. So find that working zone, find that shake. That means you are changing those muscles. Four more here, three, two, hold it low. We open the knees, squeeze to close. Pausing when those knees are parallel and then finding that knock knee position. Squeeze, get a little bit lower, four more. Three, two, let's add that pulse in here. We pulse it open, pulse it close. Lower and lower every time. Last four, Woo, shaking three. We've got two. Last one, hold those knees together, squeeze those inner thighs. Arms go overhead, we just find a squeeze of the inner thighs, isometric hold, getting even lower for 10 counts. Woo, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and ditch that glider and let's stretch out through those inner thighs. You can place your right leg onto the bar, allowing that leg to externally rotate, taking a soft bend into that left knee. If you want a little bit more here, you can reach that left arm up and over, getting a nice stretch through the inner thigh on that right leg. Big inhale, exhale. Let's take that stretch away from the leg, reaching up and over, keeping both hips level. 
and come all the way up and we'll take it to the other side. Left leg comes on the bar, allowing that leg to externally rotate, reaching the right arm up and over, taking a bend into that right knee. And let's reach that left arm up and over and slowly bring it on up. Awesome job today. I hope you enjoyed this inner thigh workout. I recommend doing it three to five times a week and maybe even trying it twice through if you want that added challenge. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you thought of this video and any requests you have for future videos. Have a great rest of your day and join me for another Banks Method workout again soon. Many of our subscribers don't see our videos. Make sure that you click the notification bell. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration.